Okay, guys, welcome back to the gym. Gonna have a big workout tonight. Gonna try to get through all vault, p-bars, and high-bar stations. Got the first half of vault, p-bars, and high-bar. I thought that last night's interview with Akash was awesome. I'll get it edited and uploaded to YouTube as soon as I can. Make sure that you guys are aware that you can join Yin Alvarez's workout every morning, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, that starts at 10 a.m. It's just another opportunity for you guys to work out if you want. Check out his Instagram page at Yin Sanity, and you'll get all the numbers and information that you might need there. But, you know, the most important thing for me right now is to make sure that you guys have a way to work out. All right, so as long as you guys know about the options, that's the best thing. We're going to start with warm-up today, um, as usual. We'll start with Jacob. He's going to do just walking with wrist rolls. Let's have a good workout, guys. Inyaki, mira. Single finger pull-down stretches. And next finger. And next finger. And pinky finger. And switch hands. Otomano. Next finger. Next finger. And pinky finger. Palm up pull down stretch. Other hand palm up pull down stretch. Pinky up stretch. And pinky up stretch other arm. One arm on top of the other stretch. No, this one here. Inyaki, mira. See? Liam, show him what you're doing. Okay, show him carefully what you're doing. Inyaki, mira. It, buddy. Thank you so much. Left arm circles forward. And backward. Right arm circles forward. And backward. Double arm circles forward. And backward. Start low, go high. And now one hand on top of the other on your lower back, Liam. Show Inyaki. Inyaki, mira. Let's 
It's good, buddy. Let's go elbows. Elbows up. Uh, the one above your head. Yep, there you go. Point those thumbs back. Yeah, now show, show Inyaki from the side. Inyaki, Mira. All the way to your tippy toes. That's it. On your tippy toes. And on your heels. And on your tippy toes. And on your heels. And on your tippy toes. And on your heels. Move you in. And hands on your waist, Inyaki. Feet face in. Mira, Inyaki, Mira. Inyaki. And feet face out. And feet face in. And feet face out. And slow kick walks with your feet flexed. And sideways kicks. And kick down to your knee.
Okay, guys, let's get to warm up. Gonna start with your right hand above your head. Pull on your lats. Just watch Yusuf. Everybody knows what we're doing. Just watch. And Yaki, Mira. Yusuf, go at your own pace. And elbows. Nice to see you, Yusuf. Hope that you guys are having a good Ramadan. Good time with your family. Okay, buddy. Nice to see everybody. Okay, just keep following Yusuf. He knows what we're doing. Nice work, Yusuf. Okay, let's stretch those toes. Sam. Dave Tilly, stretch. Switch legs. Can you show from the side? And Yaki Mira. Okay, and switch sides one more time so we can see. Okay, all the way through the pikes. Gonna stay with you, Sam, okay? Okay, point those toes. Open up your belly, keep your back nice and tight. Only matters that you guys feel a stretch. And go feet one inch apart, left hand, left foot. Right hand, right foot. Pointing your own toes, keeping your own legs straight. Separate your feet. Left hand, left foot. Right hand, right foot. Ninety degrees. Left hand, left foot. Right hand, right foot. And 
And Yaki Mira, elbows in the middle, please. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Wide as you can go. There you go. Left hand, left foot. Right hand, right foot. Elbows in the middle. Nice and tall with those knees. Point those toes hard. Okay, Shane, stretch your shoulders from behind. Look at the ceiling. Nice, good stretch. And push up to a bridge. Come back down, stretch your shoulders. And push up to a bridge. And come down, stretch your shoulders. And push up to a bridge. Okay, guys, stand up. It's 525. James, you're up first. Kick forward while lifting your arms. Go to a Swedish, a Swedish fall. Point your foot at the ceiling. Push-up shape. Right leg forward. Hold. 1-1,000. 2-1,000. 3-1,000. Turn. Face the middle. Hold. 1-1,000. 2-1,000. 3-1,000. Hands on the ground. Feet 90 degrees. Arms above your head. Pancake, hold, 1-1,000, 2-1,000, 3-1,000, up and over on your belly, push up shape, left hand, left, left hand, left foot forward, sorry, hold, 1-1,000, 2-1,000, 3-1,000, right foot forward, push up to a bridge, remember the way that you're going to come down, 1-1,000, 2-1,000, 3-1,000, slide, then hands are going to come up, forward, and then back. Nice and smooth, okay? Hold the shoulder stretch, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, slide your hands all the way forward. Hold your pike stretch, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, up nice and tall. Hold that, and up, good job. Abdul Rahim, you're up. Nice work, the last one, Abdul Rahim. Looked good, that's why we're going to you. Well, right, looked great. Okay, here we go. Kick, arms forward. Go down to Swedish fall, push up shape, right foot forward. Hold. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Face the middle. Hold. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Hands in the middle. Pancake. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Pancake hold. 1, 2, 3. Up and over with your belly on the ground. Right to a push-up shape, left leg split, go. Hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide your foot forward, push up to a bridge. Gotta get going, gotta get moving, gotta get moving. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide your feet forward, reach your hands up, and then forward, and then back. Good, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000. 3,000, slide your hands forward, keeping your hands on the ground, on the ground, on the ground, the whole time. No, you know, you were correct, Abdul Rahim. Slide forward all the way to your pike stretch. You were correct. But it says that you have to keep your hands on the ground, reaching past your feet. So you may as well just never take your feet, your hands off the ground. Okay, good job, guys. Sit up, horizontal, hold it. Good, Jacob, you deserve it. Okay, let's see it. Nice one. Okay. Kick while lifting arms forward. Go down to a Swedish fall. Lift your foot at the ceiling. Go to a push-up shape. Right foot forward. Go quick. Hold. 1-1,000. One, 2-1,000. One thousand. Thousand. 3 one thousand. Middle split. Hold. 1-1,000. One, 2-1,000. One thousand. Thousand. 3 one thousand. Hands. Feet 90 degrees. Arms up. Pancake. Hold. 1-1,000. One, 2-1,000. One thousand. Thousand. 3 one thousand. Belly on the ground. Estomago bow. 
E flexion. E izquierda. Left leg. Hold. Uno. Dos. Tres. E slide your right leg forward. And push up to a bridge. Hold it. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Slide down. Hands up. Forward. And back. There you go. Stretch. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Slide your hands on the ground. Past your feet. Hold one one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Up into a nice pike shape. Hold it. A great presentation. Okay, stand up. Nice job. Anybody want to show? Anybody? Just wave your hand. Anybody want to show? Okay, Pasta, you're up. Let's see it, man. Okay, here we go. Swing. Yep, the eel prone fall. That's it. Got to go push up shape. Right foot forward first. Hold one 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Middle split. Hold. One 1,000. Two 1,000. Get those hands up. At least one arm if you can. Three 1,000. Good. That's better than not doing it. Yeah, I think that's what I think. And not, feet 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Your legs got to be 90 degrees. Yep. Now reach. You go hold one 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Belly on the ground up and over if you can. Right? That's it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Push up shape. Left leg. Don't stop. No stopping in the transitions there. Hold one 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Slide your foot forward. Hold one 1,000. Uh, bridge. Bridge. Hold one 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Slide all the way down. Hands up, forward, then back. Up, forward, then back. Hold one 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Slide your hands all the way to your feet. Keep your back nice and straight. You got to keep your hands on the floor. That's what it says. Okay, and now sit up nice and tall, horizontal. And we're going to go to our first commercial break. Okay, nice job, guys. We're going to start right away with Vault when we come back. And Yaki, tres minutos, por favor, amigo. All right, guys, we're going to get going again. Going to start with just broad jumps, three minutes of broad jumps. All right, Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when you lift your hands up, it forces your body down into the ground. And that forces the ground to push you off of it. All right, that's why you want to use your arms when you jump. All right, watch what pasta is doing. It's great push all right I want you to land with those hands in front and then put your hands to the side all right make sure you're landing with those hands in front a good RDL landing okay use your arms arms okay guys let's get going say it in Yaki muy bien fuerte mas fuerte mas fuerte si si Stick, uno, dos, tres, cuando to stick, uno, uno, dos, tres, yeah, there you go, good, muy bien, fuerte, fuerte, good strong arms, good strong arms, right, not only do you have to use your arms to jump because it makes you a better jumper, but you can you you can lose up to three tenths for not using an arm swing. There are a number of run deductions, right? If you stutter step before you hit the board, it's also another potential three tenths. If you slow down, potential three tenths. If you don't do an arm swing, if you don't lift your knees, if you don't extend your back leg, if your arms come in front of your body, those are all potential deductions that I think that a keen judge is going to be aware of, especially at the compulsory levels. You know, the level four pasta, get going. Yeah, get going. All right, let's see it, Shane. We are trying to force those arms up. You want to start with your arms f like from behind you. 
All right, as you hurdle, as you take off the ground in your hurdle, you're going to work your arms behind your back. You know, I don't even mind if you guys try to do something like Yusuf. Can you do this for me? Can you do a, uh, you know, when you do a real hurdle on the vault, I want you to bring your chest down and your knees up. Can you do a broad jump with a, and then at the top, just a good fold in your body, trying to replicate a hurdle? Yeah, boom. I kind of like that a little bit too. You know, use your arm swing, use your body. And then you're going to smash the board with your feet. But I don't want you to do that here. I, I want you to just stick it. But in reality, you're going to fold your whole body up. Boom. But I didn't think that there was a good arm swing on that one. Let me see a good arm swing. Start from behind. Yeah, I like that better. You know. Okay, let's see it, Ian. That was a nice big jump. Right? Force your arms up and your feet down. Arms up. Good job, dude. Good job, man. All right, smoothie. Nice jump. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like with the fold smoothie. I like that. Let's see one more. Right? Quality work. Okay, guys. If it's possible, uh, actually, I, I'd rather actually, I think it's easier if you guys just do those wall sprints. Aiden, just show them the, uh, like two seconds of these wall sprints. And Yaki, Mira. I think that's probably the easiest way to achieve what I'm achieve what I want to achieve without without having to explain everything overly complicated. So it's green. I want you to do um, 20 segundos e and e um, terminar e 20 minutos uh, 20 segundos 20 seconds maybe and then rest and 20 seconds and then rest right you want to have a good forward lean and, right smoothie we keep talking to you about that yeah that's better now you got to commit to getting those knees up and now you're starting to get more upright now you're getting more upright Look at the wall in front of you, Smoothie. That's it. And just pound those knees up. Pound those knees up, Smoothie. Yeah, Smoothie, you're trying to do gymnastics, bro. You can't take you can't take shortcuts and get really good, you know what I mean? You got to commit. Getting those knees up big time. If you're on the show every night, you may as well get dirty, bro. Right? Just keep pumping those knees out. Now, take a rest whenever you want. Obviously, that's fine. Right? Just giving you the opportunity to work out. You guys can work out how much or how little you want. That doesn't matter to me. Okay, Jackson, you're on because it looks great. Right? Just a good commitment. I know this is hard, guys, but... Seemed like Akash was willing to go through anything to get good, man. You know? Smoothie, good job. Jackson, good job. All right, man, let's see. I'm looking for uh, Aiden. Let's go Aiden. Aiden's always doing good. Let's get some good knee bends there. Ooh, nice, Shane. Nice, Shane. Nice, Shane. See, a wall, man. That makes me so happy. That's it. Just keep pumping that out. You know, you want to think about the rules. You got to have... It says the rules are kind of not clear. It says that you have to lift your knee in the front and you have to extend your leg in the back. So now there has to be some criteria to that, but there isn't. It doesn't say anything in the books. So I think that what you have to do is at least lift your knee horizontal and at least extend your leg in the back. And then when you take a look at the development of proficient running, those are the criteria, right? Lifting your knee in front, extending your leg in back. Now, obviously you can take a rest, okay? If your ankles or if your calves hurt or if your feet hurt or anything like that, I would suggest not doing that right now. Okay, because this is a time of year where we're supposed to be healing and supposed to be resting. So if you guys have any pain, any pain in anything in any of the strengths that we're doing, I don't want you to do that exercise. And I would much rather you guys just sit and foam roll that particular muscle that feels tender. Okay, that's the most important thing. Okay, guys, let's go to the exercises and we'll do the next, the next bout. Ooh. 
Okay, so the level fours you guys are going to do off of uh, on the floor, straight jump, tuck jump, bike jump, landings. It's all about sticking your landings, but trying to do it off something that's a little bit higher. Same thing with level fives, level sixes, right? Just try to mimic a landing. If you have, um, I don't know, Boone, I think you even have a vaulting board or something like that. You guys can jump up and then off of the mushroom. That's also a good idea. Jump up to the mushroom, jump off of the mushroom. All right. Um, can you do a couple of those, um, Boone? Just can you do tuck jumps and straddle jumps just so Inyaki knows what I want him to do? Inyaki, Mira. Okay. Or Boone, just do it on the ground. Just do it on the regular ground. Oh, see, see no, uh, see to no tango una mushroom. Aye, aye, okay. Yeah. Muy bien, Inyaki. Muy bien. Okay. So, and then um, the level six to tens. You guys can, uh, I mean, 7 to 10s, you guys are going to work on your starfish shapes. All right, for the most part, I think that, you know, if you're a level a level 8 or 9, I think that that starfish to front tuck is, is more than reasonable. All right, so I think that you guys should just start understanding how to get off the horse sideways. So that's the suggestion, okay? All right, guys, green. Okay, so let's take a look at some of this work that you guys are doing. Let's start with Jacob. Let's just see a couple landing shapes, Jacob. That's it. You know, you're trying to use that RDL landing shape, everybody. All right, trying to think about using the RDL. That's why we're learning it. Boom. I don't want you to drop your chest down. I want you to try to load your waist. All right, load the, the weight of the landing. has got to go into your hips. All right, let's see it, Smoothie. All right, this is the entry, the exit off of the vault, and then the turn. Good. Nice. That's it. Okay, Yusuf, I want to take a look at yours a little bit. Let's see what you're working on. Oops, he's not on right now. Here he is, yeah. Let's just take a look. You know, just think about the, the power, I think, that in the block of this second arm right there, your left arm, just really making solid contact into the, into the horse, into the ground. And you just use your arm to ride the power all the way up and over. Boom, boom. That's it, dude. That looked nice. Let's see one more. You gotta put yourself on the vault. Just meditate on it. Abdul Rahim, let's see what you're working on next. Okay, let's see if your starfish shapes are good. Yeah, that looked pretty good. Okay, so let's go the next step. I want you to stop when you're done. Yeah, do one more, Abdul Rahim, and then just stop, okay? Stop when you're finished. Stop there. I want you to take your left arm and put it on your thigh. No, that's the floor. I want you to put it on your leg, on your thigh. Just put it right down. There you go. And I want you to take your right arm and cross it across your body and kind of like do a half turn. Yep. And turn around. Watch what Yusuf is going to do. Yep. You just did it correctly. Yep. That's enough. You did it correct. Let's do that one more time. Yep. That's good. All right. Let's do it one more time. So yeah, you're going to drop your left hand down and right arm all the way around. Yep, and now watch what Yusuf is going to do. This is what I want it to look like. All right. It's going to go stop here and one arm and the other arm. Okay. All right, let's see Abdul Rahim one more. Stop one arm, then the other arm. Stop one arm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, guys, let's go to the next exercise. Okay, the level fours, you guys are going to block, do blocking drills with your wrists. Now, you can do it against the wall. You can do it off of the mushroom top. You can do it um, standing up. You can do it sitting down. Boone, can you do those bounce things that Yin has us do? I like those. I like the push-up, bounce, 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 bounce. Like, even if you just try what Boone's going to show you. This is a good exercise. Just bounce forward. Yeah, and bounce backward. That's it. 
All right, so that's what the level fours are going to do. Okay, now the level fives and sixes, you guys are going to do this shape right here. Uh, I'll show it to you. It's this shape. Inyaki, mira. Okay, you guys are going to do this shape against the wall. All right, I'm going to go back to the screen. Okay, you guys are going to do that with your feet on the wall as high as possible. Okay, as high as you can. The level sevens, you guys are going to do bridge walk downs with your hands on the wall with the eights, nines, tens, and blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. It's green. Okay, Timmy, you want to do a two minute and 55 second handstand? Be the champion of the day. Still two minutes and 50 seconds. You could still be the champion of the day. All right, we'll come back to him. Come on, Yusuf. Let's see another one. We'll come into Liam and Shane, right? It looks like there's a cat. I can see a cat in a rocking chair. Boom, nice work. Boston, I'm going to come to you next. All right, let's see a good shape against that wall. You're trying to do this. Boston, what are you doing? I mean... I don't mind, but I'd rather you do the level six stuff. It's okay. You can do it. It's fine. It doesn't matter to me. Long as you're having fun, pal. Long as you're working hard. Jackson, there we go. Nice shapes here. Okay, Shane, let's see it. Let's see, let's see it, Shane. Perfect toe point. Arms perfect. Fingers tight. Open up that belly. And you're just trying to, like, be experienced. Have some experience in the shapes that you're using. Okay, Max from SGA. Let's see what you're working on. Let's see it. Is it really top the toes off? Keep your knees tight. Top those toes off. And then once you think about your toes, think about your knees. When you think about your knees, then open up your hips. When you think about your hips, think about your finger shape. And then go back to your toes and just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I don't think it would be crazy for you guys to be able to just sit up there the entire three minutes. Okay. Now, Sam, I can't tell from your from your camera angle or be, let me see one more. Let me just see, make sure your shapes are legit. Just make sure your belly and your back is totally straight. Right? So if you're going to get that close to the wall, I mean, I'd almost rather you just a little bit further away. Like, um, yeah, like this. And then open up your belly. Unless you slide, and if you slide, that kind of stinks. Don't overdo it, dude. Don't don't necessarily overdo it. I mean, you could go closer than that for sure. I know that you want to, so go closer than that. And you can push yourself, but there's a limit to where the going close to the wall makes the makes the skill probably. Now open up those hips and make it like just hold your shorts down with your hands, but make your hands dirty. Like yeah, like that. And open up and everything tight like a nail. Right, and now this is the shape, Sam. If you put your arms above your head, this is the shape that you should be swinging to on rings in front. This shape, not a big pike shape. There's no pike in your body there. Your feet are pointing at the ceiling, but Jackson, you have no pike here, right? That is the shape that you swing to on rings in the front, okay? All right, guys, let's go to the exercises. Uh, level fours, you guys are going to do handstand hops. Level fives, you guys are going to do V-seats to tight kick out. Obviously, Jackson, we're going to be showing Inyaki. The level sevens, you guys are going to do... Um, you guys can all do four-shaped tuck jumps. Okay? Inyaki, mira. Okay? Bum. Bum. There you go. Big, fast. There you go. Rapido, rapido. You rapido. Yeah? With four minyaki. All right. So I think we can go, guys. Every I think everybody knows what's going on. Okay. Now, Abdul Rahim, I'm going to uh, explain what a four-shaped tuck jump is to you. Okay? You're going to jump up off the ground, and your body's going to be straight. Then when you get to the top, your body is going to bend in the first tuck shape. Then you're going to straighten out again, 
before you land and your body is going to be straight again and then you're going to land again so your body goes tuck open tuck uh it goes open tuck open tuck watch this level 10,000 demonstrate with absolute and total adeptness don't hit your head on the ceiling please okay so you can just make out that he's got th four shapes at least he's trying to like one through four. Oh man it was yep one two three and four so four shape tuck jumps okay thank you sir Inyaki muy bien muy bien yeah with form you gotta have form in your toes buddy form you gotta keep form that's it in out in out in out out rapido 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 there you go solamente out rapido all right let's see Tarek working over here yeah nice dude I like that a lot yeah nice work man let's see Liam let's see some four shape tuck jumps from Liam that's it dude I'm just trying to find that RDL shape. Yeah, don't let the, that chest and those shoulders go upright. You know, try to go RDL, boom. RDL, boom. You know, not only is an RDL a very effective strength and conditioning skill that we're going to be working on that's going to help improve the your hip strength and your lower back strength, but it's also the same exact shape that you should land when you're when you're making contact with the floor. Okay, RDL stands for Romanian deadlift. Okay, let's see if Yusuf can just show us just one or two of the jumps from the side so we can see what he's working on. And with those hips moving backwards, not chest down as much as hips moving backwards. All right, nice job, Yusuf. Okay, guys, the next exercises are up. Level fours, you guys are going to be doing those tucked V-seat to kickouts. Level fives, you're going to do Russian twists. Level sevens, handstand in a slight hollow shape with your feet on the wall. And then level eights, nines, and tens. You know, it says starfish pull down to half turn, but why don't we just go back to that handstand uh, just like the level sevens have to do right there. I think that we'll, uh, we'll just work on your handstand shapes a little bit right now. Okay, so Inyaki, Mira. Mira, um, Sam, can you show him the Russian twists? Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much that. But what I want you to do is touch your elbow to the ground. Touch your elbow. Elbow, 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 elbow. Yeah, that's better. Okay. For 20, 20 seconds or so and then rest. 20 seconds and rest. Okay. All right, let's see Tar. Let's see Philip. What's what's Philip working on here? That's it, man. You know, I want your hands just slightly. Yes, just move your hands away from the wall a little bit, Philip. That that's it. And now just be like, I think that you guys got two minutes, sixteen seconds. I don't think anybody needs to come down. Right. I think that you have to push yourselves to the limit, and see what what doing gymnastics really means. If you're trying to go the next level. Whether or not it's moving from JD to level 10, or Yusuf going into the NCAA, <clears throat> or Smoothie, like, trying to get on the elite team. you got to ask yourself, what kind of gymnastics are you trying to do right now? All right, you trying to hold stuff for 7 seconds, or do 15 circles in a row, or are you trying to do 100 circles in a row? You guys got a minute and 38 seconds. All right, Jacob. Your gymnastics is spot on pretty much all the time. All right, you make coaching pretty easy, I'm telling you that. Okay, Austin, let's see a good set when you're ready. When you're ready, when you're ready. All right, let's do it. That's it. Try to just be precise, getting your elbows all the way. That's it, man. Okay, Liam, if you're going to do the starfish shapes, make sure that I think that you should want to stop. I want you to stop. And just kind of in your head, remind yourself every time, boom, and then hand, hand. And Liam, I think it's a smart idea for you to do both 
both of the skills, right? Don't do, don't just do the half turn, right? You know how difficult it was to just do the front tuck. So if this year you could really master the front tuck where you drop and go, then I think that you keep the cause in your back pocket. So I would do a front tuck and then a cause and a front tuck and then a cause here, looking, 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 boom. Yeah, but do a front tuck next time. Like, do the one where you stop. No, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, do one more. You don't have to flip, you big goofball. I mean, do the, stop, stop the starfish. Do starfish and stop. Now, just look to your right. Yeah, just imagine you're doing that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, imagine that, where you drop your right hand down. But it's going to be the same thing. Let's do one more starfish. You're going to go starfish and then stop. And then your left, your right hand is going to go onto your thigh and your left hand is going to create the front tuck. Boom. Boom. And snap forward. Yeah, like that. All right. So try to think about doing all of those. A, a regular front tuck, a front tuck with a half, and then the souk with a half. You know, just think about all aspects of that skill. Okay, guys, let's go to the uh, exercises. All right, this is our last one on vault. You guys are going to do a squat to a straight jump to stick, the level fours. So remember that you're doing a straight jump. The level fives, hands on the wall. Oh, okay, so let's do this. I'll just show it. Inyaki, mira. Okay, I want to go to Jackson. He does really good stuff when I ask him to. Jackson, you're going to put your hands on the wall, and you're going to move your feet further and further and further away from the wall. Okay? There you go. Inyaki, mira. Okay, like that, Inyaki. Okay? I want you to hold that probably as long as you can. Okay? All right, let's go. This is our last vault exercise. Right, you want to push yourself. I think you could probably at least do 15 seconds at a time. Ian, let's get going, buddy. Let's get going, guys. Abdul Rahim, let's get going. It's pretty much everybody's doing the same thing. Okay, let's do it. You want to go as low as you can. You don't want to pike. Right, you want to make yourselves miserable, really. Right, you got to be able to hold these shapes. This is going to make Tark, this is going to make doing your giant so much easier. This is the shape that you use to do your giant, right? This tightness that you have, this is the tightness that you have to be when you hit the horse to do your handspring front tuck this year, right? The core strength here that you're developing is going to be beneficial on every single event, all right? Pasta, nice job. And you just hold it there. You don't have to go any further than that. That's good enough, but you got to hold it. You got two minutes and two seconds. Are you going to stay up there the whole time? You know, and you just really force your body shapes. Again, guys, if you have any pain, you shouldn't be doing this stuff. If your shoulders hurt, if your back hurts, you know, what you should do is foam roll everything because we still have plenty of time to get your bodies healthy. And if at any time you want to rest or if at any time you want to do your wrist exercises, that's also fine or get a drink or whatever you want to do. Okay, Ian, everybody's pretty much doing the same thing, man. You guys are doing this. Okay, if you want, Ian, you can do tuck jumps. Chuck, tuck jump to stick it, tuck jump to stick it, tuck jump to stick it. But you may as well try this. Well, you don't have to be, you don't have to be a level four all the time. Right, you don't necessarily have to, you know, go all the way down or all the way up. What you have to do is just try to understand the importance of having tight body shapes in gymnastics. Right, Liam, we just we, we got so close to getting to getting where we needed to go this year. And I think that the one thing that like maybe held us back a little bit was that we weren't quite using hollows and stretches to learn everything. And now we have an opportunity to really drill these shapes to get now Boone, you can rest, buddy. You can rest, pal. Right, I don't mean that. Right. Sometimes it's fun to watch you guys to just like put it on somebody resting too, so people actually think that you guys actually rest. Yo, what's up, my dude? Yo, Timmy, come off mute, my man. What's up, my man? You just gotta press the mute button, buddy. 
you can do it. All right, well, I'll, I'll have you on the next uh, segment. We're getting ready for a commercial anyway. Um, guys, great job. Why don't you guys go and uh, get a drink, take a rest. All right, we're going to go through P-Bars. It's 6 o'clock on the dot. We're right on time. All right, so I really want to try to get through everything. Whoa, one second, everybody. One second. Don't go anywhere. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, Timmy? How's it going? Good. Okay, well, do you want to try to do a three-minute ant stand today? No, no, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. How about two minutes and 58 seconds? No, I don't think I can do it. Okay, well, I think you can do it. Jackson Short thinks you can do it, and Sam thinks you can do it. Okay, okay buddy, nice to see you. Let's go on a break, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to get back. Level four is you guys are going to be on parallettes doing straddle holds. It's not straddle L-seats. It's straddle holds with your hands behind your back. Okay, Ian? So straddle holds. Um, level five is you guys are going to be doing push-ups. Level six is kick handstand to flat shape. Hold 10 seconds. Level seven is pike compression holds with your feet off the ground. Same thing with level, level 8s, 9s, and 10s. Inyaki. Mira. Pasta. Do push-ups. Vente. Cinco sets. Vente. Okay, guys. Let's get going. Nice work. That's it, Abdul Rahim. Nice job, man. Okay, great work. Timmy, you want to do a handstand? You got two minutes, 47 seconds. You can do it. 244, 243. You already did it longer than this one. You did it for two minutes and 47 seconds one time. You did it for almost three minutes already. Dude, dab me up. Whatever. Hold on one second. Hold on, Timmy. Hold on. Dude, sporting the Rhode Island men's gymnastics state uh, shirt here. Dabbing my boy Timmy up. What's up, Region 6? What's up, all my dudes in North Carolina and Italy and in Yaki in Mexico? Okay, guys, two minutes to go. Let's see, Sam. Timmy, I'm going to have you do a handstand in the next minute, three minutes. We're going to see how long you make it. If you make it for if you make it for three minutes straight, I'm gonna give everybody here, everybody on this thing right now, X bands. Everybody. You gotta make it for three minutes. I know he's gonna do it now, and I know I'm gonna have to give everybody X bands, and Sam, you're gonna laugh and love it. <laughs> okay, let's see it, Shane. Ah. Come on, man. I'll come back to you. Alright, let's see a pasta. Move in, Inyaki. Move in. Rest. 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 Yeah? I think Inyaki was just keep, go, keep going and going and going. Whatever. He can only do so many in a minute and ten seconds. That's it, Boone. That's it. I mean, I, I want you guys, I think, to get... I mean, I want you to get a better wall, bro. There's no better wall there that you can be flatter against. Find a flat wall. A, fl a wall. You have four walls there. There's four walls. There you go. Find a flat wall. All right, Shane, let's go. Let's see it. Oh, you're just off camera. It's it's so funny, dude. You're like camera is mat. It's like you guys have like an opposite magnet. Let's see it dark. That's it. It's more through like your shoulders. Yeah, just keep those feet flexed. Don't be don't be distracted by like how high it goes. Yeah, that I like that one better. It's just pushing directly and it's a completely different strength. That's better. I like that a lot. Yeah, good job, Tark. 
Okay, guys, let's move on to the next exercise. Level four is push-ups on the parallettes. Level five is kick handstand to perfect form. I don't care about hold. I just care about every time you get to the top and you touch your big toes together. Perfect form. Level six is you guys are going to do uh, the stutzes. All right, so you can do it with your feet on the on the couch or you could do um, with your feet on the mushroom or you could do it laying on the mushroom and coming down right there's two different styles and I didn't think about the second way that was presented to me on Yin's thing so whatever kind of stutzes you like so you could do the the stutzes that look like Shane's here where you lay on your back all right and put your hand on the ground make sure your hands on the ground and then boom like that or can you put your feet on the carp uh, on the couch and your hands on the ground? Yeah. Or you could do this one here. Okay. And then if you do that, you could also kick to a handstand at the end if you want. Right. Kick handstand and work on finishing your stutzes in the handstand. Okay. Um, so the level sevens are going to do handstand holds. I really want you to. I want everybody here holding the entire three minutes if you can. All right, and Timmy, I think the reason why I want Timmy to do it is, is because I know he's going to do it soon. He already did two minutes and 47 seconds. And if he's holding a three-minute handstand, there's no reason that Big Yusuf can't hold a three-minute handstand, unless it's because he has injury or wrist. So I really want Timmy to lead the way, right? And then that, that's what they said at Iowa. That's what Mitchell said is that they work on three-minute handstands. So I want you to be ready for that, and I want uh, Timmy to lead the way on that. I know he's going to. All right, so I want everybody else, uh, level 8s, 9s, and 10s, you guys are going to go kick handstand to half pirouette and then a hold. Okay? Yusuf, make sure you get the other set of white parallettes from the gym so you can do pirouette work. Okay, I don't know if you have a long set of parallettes that work or get the gray ones or something. Okay, guys, I'm going to start the three minutes. Let's see if, uh, those, let's see if those level 7s can go the whole time. One second. I'll, I'll give you a fair three minutes. Okay, I'm starting it now. All right, two minutes, 58 seconds. All right, so the level four is you guys are doing push-ups. Inyaki, Inyaki, Mira, um, Yusuf, just do kick handstands. Yeah, just do kick handstands for Inyaki. Inyaki, Mira, two, to Ase. Right, just regular kick handstands, don't hold. Just go up and down. Kick handstand and back down. And kick handstand and back down. See. See. Kick handstand, back down as many as you can do. Muchas handstands. Muchas handstands. Okay, now Yusuf, get back to your work. Hold. Yeah, gotta hold that pirouette. That's it. Come on. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's keep that back nice and tight one more time. Come on, dude. Hold that. Hold that. Okay. All right. So let's do, let's try a little test here. Okay. If you hold it, if you hold it, okay, all of your dreams will come true. All of them. Okay. If you don't hold it, all of your dreams will still come true. Okay. So let's try the best that you can. All right. Here we go. You got it. Ba Boom. Hold Okay, buddy. All right, let's see, Shane. Okay, Shane, let's see a couple more. I really want you to have the hand on the on the on the like the ground as soon as you can get it on the ground. It's a reminder that it's always going to be on the bar, right? So it's never your your left hand is always going to be attached to the bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Now maybe what you could do is you could put your feet up on the pillows. Right, and then you're doing it from even higher or from a different angle, and then maybe even a different angle, and then a different angle after that, and stop, you know, and trying to see maybe if you are able to do it like this, you know, and put your feet up on something higher and higher, then it goes closer to a, a Stutz handstand, and you know, what happens if you put another cushion on top of that and do it the same way but with two cushions? Okay, let's see Jackson from Regal. Let's see what he's working on. That's it. You know, same thing. I think that there's merit to this one, but I, I almost like the other one better because at the end of the other one, you're in support and you can kick to a handstand. 
right off the mushroom but i mean i think that there's yeah try to get that hand down on the on the ground i just want you to under right there right there and just push off of it there you go and i want you to remember yeah abdurrahim of course you can use the wall yeah that's what i yeah can you use the wall um uh, yeah if you have to i mean but I think that what we want to do is start establishing the fact that if you don't and can't do a handstand, a free, a free held handstand, then that's probably something that we want to continue to work on. The level fours uh, are going to be working on the next exercises are up. Straddle V seats, right? That's your bonus. I don't know if there's level. Uh, yeah, there are. Um, Ian, I want you to do straddled V seats, my dude. Okay, and don't keep messing with that uh, camera straddled v seats and then level fives you guys are going to do v seats uh man is with your feet on the mushroom and kickoff right you can do v seats like that or we've been everybody's really been doing nanas so i'll probably have pasta will you show inyaki how to do that okay and then we'll have um the level six is kick handstand with perfect form and no hold where i just want you to have numbers of handstands over and over and over like you're doing swings you could also roll off the mushroom to the handstand. Okay, those are kind of fun. Then the other thing I saw somebody do the other day on Yin's thing was they took the top of the mushroom off and then they put a bouncy ball they, and they took the top of the mushroom off and flipped it over and put a bouncy ball in the big circle and they were able to bounce handstand, bounce handstand, bounce handstand. And I thought that that was a pretty, a pretty good potential tool as well. Um, and then the level sevens, level eights, nines, and tens, you guys are going to do upper arm swing holds. All right, Yusuf will show you an upper arm swing when we, if we can. All right, you're going to put your feet up on the wall like this. It's a little bit of a, a far camera angle, but you're just going to go like this and push down with your elbows, pushing down with your elbows and keeping your back tight. And then maybe do it for 10 seconds and then come down. I, I don't want it to hurt your back. But I want to replicate the strength that your upper body is going to need to do some good front uprise work. Okay, so these are the exercises, and um, we're going to have to do V seats with your feet. Uh, pasta, or pasta? Can we show uh, Inyaki? Okay, Sam, can we show Inyaki? I want you to just do manas when you're with your back up on that uh, on that mushroom, Sam. Sam, will you do? Uh, Oh, maybe you can't hear me. Sam, can you do uh, manas with your back on the mushroom? Yeah? Inyaki, Mira. Okay, now, can you do it on the floor? Do it on the floor. If you can. I'm trying. Inyaki. Mira. Okay, buddy. Okay, vamos. Va. Do it on the couch. We be in, we be in, we be in. See, see, we be in, amigo. Okay, let's see Abdul Rahim. See it, buddy. What are you working on? Okay, so yeah, you you're gonna just like pretend you're like yeah, that's good, and try to get those heels tight. You know, just maximize your body shape. I don't really want an arch here. Let's see smoothie from the side, Abdul Rahim. You can just keep watching the screen so you can see what he's doing, right? Point those toes, smoothie. And like, I'd almost rather it like rather it just like no sag in your back whatsoever. I want it to be like, no, 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 you can keep your body there, but I want you to like push against your the wall with your feet. 
so that it's strong, yes, yeah, strong in your back and almost lifting your chest off the ground a little bit. You know, like really trying not to be in such a sagging arch, right? Maybe I'll mess with Yusuf for a little bit. Yusuf, can you do it like, can you do it so that you're almost in a hollow? Or is your face in the way? I'm going to take you off mute. Is your, yeah, like that. And then can you go down to that stretch shape? And then go back up to that hollow. Yeah, I like this a lot. Smoothie, watch this. Watch this. He's in a stretch. And then pushing off of his elbows into a hollow shape. I mean, I think that that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Now that might be like stepping it up a little bit. Like this. Ian, let me see. Ian, like this. Let me see, buddy. Straddle V-seats. Um, okay, so I want you to do an L-seat, Ian. Do an L-seat. Those would be V-ups, I guess. Right, Ian, do a... Do a, a yeah, that's good. Yep. Yeah. And now you're going to do a V-seat, but you're going to do it straddled. That's a straddled V-seat. All right? Now, the rule on a V-seat, though, Ian, is that you got to point your feet at the ceiling. All right, if your feet aren't pointing at the ceiling, it's pretty easy for a judge to see that. I can even see it on this video over here. So the straddled V-seat has to have your toes pointed at the ceiling, okay? Let me see you try one more time now that you know. All the way up, all the way at that ceiling. No, no, no. Like when you lift your legs up, here, watch Jacob. Watch Jacob. Jacob, his legs are going to point at the ceiling. Right? Go, Jacob. Right? At the ceiling, bro. And Jacob could even go a little bit higher. Right? At the ceiling. All right, let me see you try one more time. At the ceiling. There you go. But you get the point. You get the point. Not just a little bit of VC, like lot bit of VC. Okay, guys, we're going to go to parallel bars. We got our fourth exercise. All right? The level four is... Ian, you're going to be working L seats for 15 seconds each, and I want you to put your feet above some type of like book or something so that they're not on the ground. They got to be up high, like maybe, like maybe even like do it so that they're, they're like over a sneaker or something like that, or over one of those couch cushions is a good idea. All right, just put a couch cushion, and you got to do it so that your feet are not touching the couch cushion. The level fives, you guys are going to do push back and curl ups on your back. Um, Jacob, you're going to help me with that. I think that you know what I'm talking about, and we're going to help show Inyaki for a bit. The level sixes, you guys are going to do push back to dislocate to L seat on back. Oh, same. Oh, oh, okay. That's the, um, you guys are going to do the, um, the Moy Catch stuff. All right, Jackson, maybe you can show really quick just to remind people of what's going on. I'm sure everybody remembers. Okay, so you're going to go dislocate your shoulders. Dislocate all the way through. And sit up. Boom, VC like a moy catch. All right, so that's the reminder what the level six is going to do. Jacob, let's show Inyaki what he's going to be doing. Inyaki, mira. He's still doing those. He's still doing those. Uh, man, I love it. Inyaki, mira. Okay. Okay, slow. No rapido. No rapido. No rapido. Let's do alto. No rapido. Slow, slow, slow on the way down. Slow on the way up. Slow, so slow as you can. 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 No rapido, amigo. Okay. Okay. Vamos. Um, the level. Okay. Here's a reminder of what's going on. The level 7s, 8s, 9s, and 10s, you guys are going to do paper man routines. But I think that if you don't want to do paper man routines, then you can do these things here. And I think that this is also a very good mental way to do it. I think that it's probably a better way to do it right now. I think that paper man routines are a very good way for Yin to have his guys do stuff in an airplane or in a hotel room. But there's also merit to what Yusuf's doing and to be able to move 
and to feel that like synchronicity between your brain and your body I you know just make sure you're breathing through it but if you want to do paper man routines I will show you with Aiden what a paper man is you're just gonna fold up your piece of paper and then you're gonna fold up your piece of paper again and then you're gonna fold it again and again and again so that it looks like this and then again and again and again and go quick let's do it there we go there we go one more time and then fold it in half and then fold one of those halves in half and now you have a paper man who can jump and do all sorts of gymnastics so I want you to do your paper man routines okay or you can do your whole body routines is fine with me okay thank you so kindly Aiden the level 10,000 from out of space Okay, guys, keep going. Okay, guys, it looks like our uh, practice has grown on somebody. Uh, seems like we have a uh, frequent guest now, which is probably one of the best things ever because this guy is honestly top-notch, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you get to work if you want, okay? Uh, maybe we'll just go right to... Um, We'll get right to uh, Jackson over here. Am I off mute? mute? Yeah. Oh, I am. You're ready to go. All right. Nice to push. I was trying to make myself a paper man routine. A paper man thing. So fold it one more time in half. Fold it one more time. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Jackson. I'm, I'm still watching. Try to keep those feet up more towards the ceiling. You know, and I think that this is as close as I can get to what the feeling of a moy catch is going to be like. You know, you're going to come through. There is going to be a stretch in your shoulders as you let go. And remember, what I want you guys to do is I also want you guys to change from this laying down shape here. Boone, one second. Stop right there. I want you to stop at the bottom, Jackson. Yep, stop at the bottom. Stretch all the way and stop. Boom, stop right here. Boom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift up. Remember that, remember Mitchell talked about pausing. And I want this to be the pause. And then I want there to be a very fast change in movement up into the V seat. So boom, all the way up, boom. Slide down, pause, hold the shape, hold the shape, and then bam, off the bottom, right? And just try to replicate the philosophy of what we're doing, okay? And then so Yin, um, Yin gave me this idea um, in one of the clinics that we had him on and it was just uh, a way for his guys to continue to do gymnastics While they were traveling and stuff and he said that when he was younger He did it with pens and and action figures and anything else that he could use But if it was good for him, then it's good for us And I think it's just a good shout out to Yin for him to see you guys working on that and it is a lot of gymnastics is mental anyway, so yeah. Okay, let's do really well even on pirouettes all right, Ian, let's see your L seats. Let's show Vaughn your L seats. All right, who we got? This is. I mean, you got 32 seconds. Can you hold it the entire 30 seconds without touching that without touching that pillow? Let's go, Ian. Push it. Seconds. Got to hold it the whole time. Yes, please. Come on, come on. Fight, fight, fight. Come on, Ian. You can do it. Nice. Go. And up. Up, up, up. Finish up. That's it, yeah. 13, 12. Come on. Here you go. Good struggle, buddy. Good struggle. See, the thing is, we're all proud of you. You're getting thumbs up from Abdul Rahim with clapping, right? You're getting thumbs up, bro. Right? One second. Dude, you did it, man. You took us out of that whole exercise right there. Right? You finished up the exercise for us, right? All right. Level uh, level fours. You guys are going to go kick handstand. No hold. I don't care if you hold it this time, Ian. All right? Inyaki, mira. I don't want you to hold it, Ian. I want you to just spend a lot of time doing handstands, lots of them. Try to get to 100 kick handstand. Okay, no hold. The level fives, push-ups. Inyaki, push-ups. Okay, we'll show you. Level sixes, hands on the floor, feet against the wall in a slight stretch, and then walk your feet down. Hands on the floor. Hands on the floor, feet against the wall. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like you're doing like a swing. A swing shape. So I want you to um, maybe, uh, yeah, I'll have Jackson do it. Exactly right, Jackson. So you're just going to get into this shape here, like you're swinging. 
your head's looking forward just like you're on the bars. You're about to drive your heels to the ceiling. So what you could do is you could push against the floor to just slide, or you could walk your feet up. Like if you push against the floor hard enough, you might be able to make your feet slide up, right? But what you're doing is fine. I don't want you to necessarily hollow at the top. I almost want you to just stay stretched the whole way. And maybe just, how about this, Jackson? Walk your feet up three inches, not all the way. I, I don't see why not all the way. I think it's fine. I think you're doing fine. The only thing is when you get all the way, look at your hands. Yeah. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Yeah. Always looking at your hands at the top of your handstands. Okay, guys? All right. So let's get it going. All right. Timmy. Timmy. Okay. You can whenever you think that you can do it. Okay. You've already okay. He's up. All right. Here we go. Here we go, Timbo. No. You've done it. You've already done it for this long. You've already done it for two minutes and forty-seven seconds. So you've already been able to do this length, dude. You're so close to three minutes. You're gonna do it, and you're gonna do it in seconds. Abdul Rahim's already giving you claps and thumbs up. Okay. Here we go. Oh man. Here we go, Yusuf. All right, and then the level seven. Sorry, I forgot to say the level sevens, eights, nines, and tens. So Abdul Rahim, watch what Yusuf is gonna do. I want to stop in between everything. Jump stop, push up stop, jump stop, push up stop. Everything stop like you're landing. Okay, like you're landing. Everything with a stop in between. Boom, and all the way up. Like you're trying to replicate the the time that you would spend doing a routine on your arms and also the landing shape, right? So you, you gotta stay going for about a good 30 seconds or so. All right, Shane, let's see what you're doing. You're doing hand, yeah, that's right, let's see it. So this shape, I'm trying to get this shape to replicate a swing handstand. Just that shape in the front there. Shane. All right, let's see it, Sam. Let's see your shapes here. Repping the six four six, harsh. Yes, nice. Get those heels tight. That's it, man. That's it. I'm just trying to like get the best that I can do. That's the closest that I can come to the shapes that we're gonna need. All right, but I, I really, I really like the tightness in the back. I think that's gonna make it a really beneficial. All right, Boone. Let's see it. Yeah, it's and I don't don't arch. I don't want it to be an arch. I'd rather your feet be higher on the wall and your body be super tight than there be an arch. What do you think of that, Vaughn? Uh, yeah, so keep it tighter. Yeah, there you go. That's better. I think that's the idea. Okay, Philip, let's see a couple more jumps closer to the camera. Let's face the camera. All right, now I want you to make sure that you're, yeah, but I don't want it to be, you don't have to go. Remember when we were working on the squats, it's only elbows to your knees, right? Remember when we were working the squats, it's the same, no, only elbows to your knees. It's the same shapes. Whenever I say squat, that's what I mean for now on. Yes, right? Squat, stop, good. Jump, stop, exactly right. Now, if you want to incorporate the push up into it, you can do so. But whenever I say squat, that's what I mean, okay? Yeah, now push up and then and stop. right there and stop in a squat there and then jump to a push up. You did fine. Yeah, well, however you do it and then yeah. squat again there and stop. Squat stop. Right. Jump to squat and stop and then jump to squat and stop and then push up to squat and stop and then jump to squat and stop and push up to squat and stop and jump to squat and, and stop, right? So try one more time. We may as well spend a couple more minutes to make sure you know how to do it. Do a squat, jump, and land in a squat though. Just land in a squat the whole time. There you go. Jump and land in a squat. Now do a push up and push up all the way to a squat. Push up to a squat and stop. And now jump to a squat and stop. And now push up to a squat and stop. And nice. jump to a squat 
and stop. There you go. Maybe your feet are a little bit wide there on your squats, Philip. Right? That's it. That's it. That's better. I like that better. And get that bum to drop. You know, get that bum to drop. Now, if you can't get your butt low, it's probably because your Achilles tendons and calves are a little bit tight, okay? I'm not saying that yours are. I'm just making a, a point. Okay, Philip. Good job, man. Appreciate all that hard work. All right. Here we go. Level fives. We're getting to our last exercises. I think we have six and seven to go on key bars. Yes, we have six and seven. So um, the level four is kick handstand and over to over a bar to land. Um, um, I, it, you're supposed to do like uh, I just kick handstands is fine. Kick handstand against the wall. Kick handstand on the bars is fine. Oh, oh, oh! I understand. I understand. Okay, level fours. Uh, Ian, I think just kick handstands is fine for right now. Okay, kick handstand. Level fives. You guys are going to do swing handstands against the wall and hold. Or kick handstands against the wall and hold. All right, hold for three minutes. Hold for one minute each time. As long as you can. The level sixes. You guys are going to do kick handstand against the wall with your straight body. And I don't really care about the, the how long you hold. I just want you to make sure that you're working on your shapes. Level sevens, push-ups. Level eights, nines, and tens. Push up with one hand and lift, one hand lifting in the front. Okay, I think everybody knows what's going on. Let's move it. Okay, it's it's green. Ooh, I did I just did a hundred kick handstands. Ian just did a hundred kick handstands. Okay, one hundred kick handstands. Let's talk to Ian about his one hundred kick handstands. Ian, come over here, <laughs> buddy. Nobody ever comes off mute. This is crazy that we're doing this right now. But one hundred kick handstands. You can say something. You're on. You're on, Mike. What did it? What was it like achieving 100 kick handstands? Did it feel exciting? Did you think that you would be able? To... About exciting because I never did 60 kick handstands in like three minutes. Oh, oh Vaughn, what do you think about the fact that he did 100 kick handstands? Wow, you pushed yourself. Like that's impressive. You know, we're not in the gym and you're still pushing yourself. Wow, <laughs> Ian, do you know what you're working on right now? What? You're going to do kick handstand and you're going to try to hold it against the wall for like, I don't know, three days if you can. Okay, buddy, go, go to it. All right, let's go and see Inyaki. Inyaki. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Inyaki, Mira. Okay, Sam, can you show him one more? Yeah, Inyaki, ahora. Vamos, amigo. Muy bien. All right, muy bien. Muy bien. Fuerte, fuerte. 30 segundos. It's working, man. Muy bien. Good job, Inyaki. All right, let's see Ian. Man, guys work hard. These guys work hard, that's for sure. Jackson has got a nice position as well. Abdul Rahim pumping out push ups as in. Oh, Shane, I'm coming to you. What are you working on? Let's see it. Man, these guys are always working on their cameras. There you go, Sam. Push. He's been just trying, working hard on like activating his upper back and shoulder muscles to try to get his his arms truly above his head over this kind of break. And really so, see that push through the scapula for Sam, nice. Really trying to activate, Jacob, nice. I like this shape here. Whoa. Opening up our shoulders and trying to get a truly upside down handstand. You know, Shane, nice. All right, nice job, Ian. All right, guys, 11 seconds to go. Try to stay up the whole time. Philip, don't stop. You got six seconds. Guys, got to get big numbers. Tomorrow is testing strength. We've got to get big numbers tomorrow. Okay, last beat, last barrel of bar exercises are up. Level four is kick hands in against the wall and make it as flat as possible. Okay, this time, this time, Ian, I don't really care if you hold it really that long. I just want you to try to touch your whole entire body to the wall. Okay, and make it as flat as you can. 
Level fives, L seat with your feet above two books. Level sixes, kick handstand, half pirouette with hold beforehand. Kick handstand, hold, then pirouette. Level sevens, couch stutzes and diamondoffs. Level eights, nines, and tens, you guys are going to do Turkish get-ups. We started. Timmy, you want to try to do a three-minute handstand, my dog? Be the king? Hold on one second. Let me put the... I, I forgot to do this. Oh, yeah. I almost had a perfect episode. Okay, guys, these are the exercises. Come on, Timmy. Step up to the plate. Timmy. Let's get it, dude. Let's try it, man. Try it. Dude, I'll, I'll get everybody pizzas. I'll get everybody pizzas and motorcycles, man. Honestly. Come on, man. You got two minutes, 46 seconds. Okay. You've already done it this long. Get up on that wall. Go. Go. If you do it, then it will be a huge thing. Go try it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, buddy. Come on, dude. This could be this could be the most amazing day ever. Guys, you guys got to keep working. Timmy, if you guys keep working, then Timmy will keep working. Okay? If Timmy's close, I'll tell you. Okay? Oh, keep going, Timmy. Okay, so right now it's 2 minutes, 42 seconds. Let's see if we can do it. And Yakim, we be in. And Yakim, we be in. Timmy's still up. Okay, he came down, so the pressure's off. Keep going, Timmy. Keep working on your handstand. Yeah. Inyaki, mira. Inyaki, mira. Yeah. See? Like that. That's straight. Okay, vamos, amigo. Good job, James. You know, Smoothie, what you want to do, though, is instead of holding the parallel, you want to you want to balance it on your palm, right? Because then if you can balance it, you know that you're in so, so much control of your shoulder. That's what it's all about. It's not about the how fast you can get up. It's how well you can control your body through these mo motions up to your elbow, up to your hand, up, slide your foot through, keep looking at the weight keep balancing you know so even though your body is doing all of these motions that parallel should just be drawing a straight line upwards you know and you want to just balance it you don't want to hold it you want to balance it like a tray and that's really what you know but don't forget about that elbow and all of your motions have to be thought out and smooth and what you're doing is you're working on this your shoulder stability right now and you're working on little intrinsic muscles in your shoulder that are all firing in, in so many different different patterns to keep your shoulder stable. All right, so I'd much rather you balancing the weight like this. Okay, let's see Yusuf over here. Right, and I also think that this this movement here is relatively similar to the organization of you know, eight or nine skills in a row to, to make a routine and the precision between one motion and the next and making your brain commit to the full, the full, you know, sequence of events with precision and, you know, I think that that's also something that, that mimics the, the mentality of a routine. All right, guys, let's go on to our final break, and we'll come back, and we will uh, do some high bar. Okay, guys, let's get going. So level four is you guys going to start on high bar? On the pull-up bar, you're going to be doing hanging half turns with socks between your feet. And I'm pretty sure that Ian has a pull-up bar, so we're good. Um, level fives, you guys are going to do uh, soup cans or weights or books or whatever it is. Um, do your strength from, it's actually called empty cans. If you're going to do it from uh, like a strength training perspective, that's the name of the exercise. 
gonna hold a weight and just lift it above your head. Um, Jacob, I'll probably have you show Inyaki what we're doing. All right, Jacob, pick pick bigger books maybe. Um, the level six is slow motion backward rolls. Level seven's plan kick planche kicks, and I think planche kicks are better than jump to planche kicks. So maybe we can have Yusuf show uh, Abdul Rahim what what he's working on. All right, just a planche kick here. That's it. You know, try to keep your shoulders in front of your hands the whole time. The whole time. Right there. Keep your shoulders in front of your hands. That's it. Okay? All right, guys. Here's the exercises. Inya uh, Inyaki. Mira. Dos libros. Dos libres. Si. Y no rapido. No rapido, amigo. Yeah? No rapido. Yeah, Jacob, can you use bigger books? Or are those... Is that the heaviest you got? Go find something heavier. Mas fuerte, Inyaki. Mas fuerte. <laughs> Pero los libros está muy pequeño. Muy pequeño books. Muy pequeño libros. Grande, grande, grande. Ah, más fuerte, más fuerte. Muy bien, amigo. There you go. Good job, Anyaki. Yeah, no rapido, no rapido. Um, cinco, cinco, y rest. Y cinco, y rest. Y cinco, y rest. Okay, good job, guys. Okay. All right, let's see how these guys are doing. Jackson. All right, so Jackson's working on slow motion backward rolls. What do you think about this, Vaughn? I'll take you off mute. There you go. So full point right here, nice control. All right. Nice, you can keep that tuck a little longer, I think. You know, it's all to me, that whole thing is just about being aware of your body. Like you're just staring at your own knees. You're right there, right in front of your face. So if you're not able to keep them together, then, right. you know, all right, Sam, let's see that same skill. Six, four, six. Together, toes together, everything, you know, try not, to, I don't want you to go over that right shoulder if you can get those push. Yeah, that's better. And go right to a stick up shape, stick shape. If you can, you know, always a stick shape, a stick shape is the same thing as an RDL shape. No difference. Romanian deadlift is what we what we talk about. Okay, Jacob, this looks good. Jacob, I appreciate your help, right? Because of your leadership, Inyaki is able to do these workouts, right? And you can clearly see what's going on. And, you know, I don't necessarily know how to speak Spanish effectively at all. But because of your help, this little kid over here is, you know, is in Mexico City, okay, working out with us. And, and I appreciate your help, okay, Jacob? Good work. All right, this is smoothie. Smoothie, I think I think it works better when you do one foot at a time because, like, Yusuf can almost spend... I know he's probably tired, but that's okay. He can spend a lot of time in a plange, actually. Right now, he's still in a plange, but I want you to kick a little faster than that and kick again. Yeah, and kick a little faster and back... Yeah, like in back and forth. So you're actually spending a good amount of time with the the shoulders leaned forward for sure. I like that better. Okay, Smoothie, you saw that, right? Okay. You know, I want you to spend as much time in the plange as you can. And I think that that helps a lot. All right, let's see it. That's it, man. Certain, certainly see some dedication in these guys, huh? Okay, let's see it, Boone. 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 And then we'll go watch we'll watch Philip at the end. Make sure Philip's doing good work over there. Troll and stick. Yeah, you can bend your knees to land, Boone. <clears throat> okay, Philip, I think that this angle is pretty good to see. Yeah. 
try to keep your shoulders above your hands or in front of your hands 100% of the time, Philip. okay? You obviously take a rest as much as you need. And we're on to the next exercise anyway, so may as well start with Philip on the next exercise. Okay, guys, you're going to be on a pull-up bar. Ian, you're going to be on a pull-up bar, and you're going to do pull-ups. I want you to do 5,000 pull-ups if you can. Okay, Inyaki, uh, I want you to do handstand push-ups. Okay, Jacob, can you show him hand, headstand to handstand to headstand to handstand? Okay, uh, I'll come back to you when you're ready to do it, and then we'll show Inyaki in a second. Okay, level sixes. Um, you guys are going to do a tucked planche hold against the wall or off of the uh, or off of the mushroom or something like that. Level sevens, jam slides and jam and half tuck slides. I think everybody knows what I'm talking about at this stage of the game. Timmy, I want you to do headstand, push to handstand. Headstand, push to handstand, okay? Jacob, I'm going to show Inyaki. Are you ready, buddy? Inyaki, mira. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, guys. Let's get it going. Timmy, you trying to do a three-minute handstand? How about two minutes and 30 seconds? Okay, Timmy. Timmy, you're supposed to be doing headstand, push to handstand. Headstand, push to handstand. That's it, buddy. And push all the way up. Good try. Okay. So, Yusuf, let's see one of these. I think that, I think that Yusuf has a legitimate chance of doing this skill, honestly. He's got really amazing shoulder flexibility. He can already pretty much do a jam handstand. It comes off the front a little bit, but I think that these skills are really something that he could work, but unfortunately, it's like one of the most difficult skills to work, you know, while you're in a situation like this. So I really want him to, like, take his mind and put it on the bar. It's really not a form or a strength exercise. It's like a a mind exercise. I want you to meditate, Yusuf, so hard on being on the bar right now. I want you to, like, where, how, how do you want me to stand? Where do you want me to be? You know, and just, you're at the gym. Everything is completely silent. You're working out by yourself. Boom. Dirtiness. Yeah? Austin, rest up. I'm going to come to you next to see some work. Okay, see Jackson in the meantime. Sit, dude. The goal is to keep your shoulders just either above or in front. Above is fine, but in front is better for as long as long as you can. All right? That's it. That's it. That's it. Hips down. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. You don't have to make it any more necessarily, Austin. All right? That's enough. Just like that. Just like that. And just hold that, bro. Right? I really believe that instead of, you know, struggling so much that you fall and struggling so much that you fall, you spend so much time falling that if you just, just get up there and just hold it, boom. Yeah, Austin, it's nice work. All right, your effort, buddy, is really commendable. And Yaki, vamos, amigo. See, we be in. Form, 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 there you go, form, good, muy bien amigo, nice job Sam, alright, nice work dude, that's it, hold right there, hold there, that's it buddy, good, good effort man, okay guys, next exercise, Nice work, Sam. 
Ian, you're going to be doing um, half turns on your pull-up bar. Try to put something between your feet so you remember form, 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 form. Form, form, form. Because, Ian, we want you to go to meets this year and crush. Crush people into the ground. All right. Level fives. You're going to go to pull-up bar and you're going to do leg raises with foam between your feet. Okay. Um, Jacob, you're going to show... You're going to show... Um, and Yaki, how to do just leg lower downs. Okay, I don't, I can't see. Oh, Jacob's. I'll have somebody show him. Aiden, can you show me leg lower downs with your arms above your head? Aiden, will you show me leg lower downs with your arms above your head? Oh, I think he's, uh, is. Okay. Alrighty, I will try. Jacob, Jacob, show me leg lower downs with your arms above your head. Okay, Yusuf. All right, Inyaki, Mira. <laughs> See, vamos amigo. Okay, so um, the level six is you guys are gonna do um, kick early pirouettes. You guys can do pirouettes, kick under grip pirouette. Boom, chat. Send me a chat. What are jam slides? Okay, you got it. Um, and then the, the level the level sixes through tens can really work on early pirouettes if you want and pirouettes that's no problem. Okay. Guys, if your wrist hurts, I want you to rest. Boone, if you gotta go, just shut the TV off, buddy. Love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. You make, there, for, make sure you're ready for strength testing tomorrow. Okay, guys. It's green. You can go. Okay, so let's take a look. Ian, you're doing um, you're doing hanging half turns. I'm using a TheraBand to squish my feet together. Let's see it, pal. Let's see that. <laughs> well, I'd rather you put the TheraBand between your toes and you squeeze the TheraBand with your toes so that you don't become... But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> squeeze it with your toes together. There you go, buddy. Let's see it. Vaughn, look at how strong this kid is, huh? Come on, Ian. Nice. Now do a half turn. Remember, you got to turn on your left arm, we decided, not your right arm. That's <laughs> right. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Ian, I think you have to turn on your left arm because you do a round off on your left arm. Yeah, so that, there you go. Oh. It's like the struggle. This is the struggle. <laughs> there you go, buddy. What? Nice job. Nice job. All right. Okay, Yusuf. Let's see early pirouette. That's it, dude. Good job, man. All right. Push through that lower back. Abdul Rahim. Let's see a couple pirouettes from you, pal. Okay. Another no on that. Oh, well, you just do it on the regular. Just do it on the regular ground ne next time. Yeah, yeah. Next time, you don't have parallettes. You can just do stuff on the ground. Use the floor and a cushion or something. Yeah, do it on a cushion on the floor. Hey, that's a good idea, right? One second, one second, Abdurri. What's up, my dude? What's up? What do you mean by under grip? Like. Um. So, take a look at Yusuf's hands. Like this. Like, so you're in an undergrip. Yeah, and you do an undergrip. Kick to an undergrip and then pirouette. So watch the whole thing. Ready? He's going to kick to an undergrip. Pirouette. Okay, Abdul Rahim? Yeah. Okay, next exercises are... Are these the next ones? The level four is going to be against the wall. One second. The level fours are going to be against the wall. You're going to do uh, on one parallel with your feet on the wall and shoulders in the front of your hands. All right, so you're just going to do a kick handstand against the wall on one parallel. Uh, and I think that, um, Ian, you can do a kick handstand against the wall on one block. One block. Both hands, one block. I think that's fine. All right, the level fives are going to do weights or soup cans. Um, plange presses on your back. Okay, I'll show you what those are. The level sixes, you guys are going to do parallettes near the wall. Handstands in a hollow with feet on the wall. Level sevens on the floor. Pike stretches with back in a stretch. Okay, level eight, nines, and tens with a bungee belt or bar. Jam dislocate flexibility. 
Okay, um, Jacob, I'm going to need you to help me. Oh, Jacob's not on anymore. Okay, um, Aiden, I want you to go get um, two those uh, those two purple weights. Aiden, go get those two purple weights for me. All right. His, oh. Oh, that's right, he's listening to music. Oh. It's tricky. Sam, I want you to go get your soup cans. Go get your soup cans. Quick, quick. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> and I want you to do... Well, we only... It was so, so few cameras. Can you go onto your back and do plange presses with the soup cans? Yep, that, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah. And they go down to your side. Yep, like that. Like that. And then lift them up straight like a plange. No, no, no. No, no. Lay on your back. Lay on your back. Yeah, just lay on your back exactly right. And up to a push-up shape. Done. Yeah. And back down. And back down. And up. And back down. And Yaki. Bien? Muy bien, amigo. Yes. Bien. Vente. Okay. So the rest of the guys are doing these exercises here. Okay, level five is planche presses on your back. That's what Inyaki is doing. Level six is handstands in a hollow with your feet on the wall. Yeah, so you're going to face away from the wall. Yeah, Sam, I like this. This is good. All right, this looks good. And it doesn't have to be incredibly close to the wall either. Ian, you're going to do you're going to do a handstand against the wall with your hands on that block. Put both hands on that block, Ian, and do a handstand against the wall. And Sam, just a nice good tight hollow shape here. That's it. Good hollow. Really beautiful hollow shape. All right. Yusuf's working on shoulders and jams and stuff like that. Start with your compression, open up. That's it, dude. Inyaki. Muy bien. Muy bien, amigo. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Nice, buddy. So strong. So strong. Nice, Ian. Right? Nice job. Good job, guys. Good job, Smoothie. Let's take a look at Jackson's shape. What do you think of this spawn? Yes, he has that hollow going. Very good. Again, I want you to look at your hands, though. You know, and you don't have to overcommit to your head sticking out, but you want to be looking at the bar. I think that's what you. that's what Mitchell was saying. I like that extra effort in the elbows that you just did there. Push, push. Okay, guys, let's get to the uh, let's get to the exercises. We got two more to go. Two more to go, and then we'll have finished everything. Okay. So the level five, uh, the level fours, you guys are gonna do leg raises. Okay, Ian, leg raises on your pull-up bar. Level fives, you guys are gonna go backward roll with socks between your feet. You just do a regular backward roll with socks between your feet. All right, we'll have to show in Yaki. Level six is three hollow rocks to slow backward roll with socks between your feet. Trying to replicate tap swing, tap swing, tap swing, fly away. And level eights, nines, and tens, you guys can go through your paper man routines. Okay, um, Yusuf, can you show in Yaki just a backward roll? And I want you to put something between your feet. Inyaki, mira, amigo. Sorry, Jackson. And here's the exercises. I don't know how long it was just on Jackson for. Okay, these are the exercises you guys are doing. And Yusuf, you're just going to show them with something between your feet, just slow backward rolls. It's a regular backward roll. You don't even have to do it slow. And Yaki, mira. Bien? Yeah? Okay, amigo. Okay, guys, let's get going. Come on, Ian, keep that in between your feet. Or right, I'll put the exercises on so you guys know. 
Get those legs together, Ian. Come on, go. Lift the legs. Oh, that's it. Let's. Okay, let's give him a little break. There we go. Nice warm, Sam. That's it, man. I'm just trying to replicate like a flyaway tap swing, tap swing. He's going to want to swing to almost that shape in the front. Boom. Get up. Make sure you're landing in that RDL shape. This kid is always fun to watch. Always fun to watch, dude. He's yes, so classic, man. Shoot up. That candle shoot up. He just looks classic. It's true. It's true. I can see lines. You know, his form is so beautiful. Push. Nice, Jackson. All right, from somebody who watches a lot of gymnastics, Jackson, it's just a pleasure to see you work, dude. Right, Inyaki, muy bien, amigo. <laughs> Something between his feet. I love it. Nice. Love it, man. It gives you the opportunity to teach people across the world. I don't even know this kid. It's amazing. <laughs> right? Inyaki, amigo. Muy bien. Right, he just had a, a two-hour workout. All right, Ian, you're on the clock, buddy. I'm putting you on. Let's see you struggle a little bit. This kid's got a good struggle face. There you go. Come on. Come on, push yourself, Ian. Pull up. There you go. Regional champ right here. Regional champ. Level four regional champ right here. Nice. Wow. I mean, about to be. Come yeah. on. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Good there job. You go. Good job, man. Now you get better. All right, guys. Good job. All right, let's put the last exercise on and you guys can get going. All right. Level four, slow motion backward rolls. Level five, shoulders on the floor and feet on the wall, holding with hands above your head. Um, I'll show you the shape. Level six is pirouettes against the wall on one parallette. Level seven, 10 push up, three presses, 10 second L seat. All right, keep going around and around. Level eights, nines, and tens, five handstand push ups. Five handstand lower down to plunge, and then 15 second L seat, and keep going back and forth. Okay, so let's show um, Inyaki what I want him to do, but I think I can just show him a picture. Um, Inyaki, mira amigo. Okay, take a look. Okay? Okay. Okay, vamos, amigo. Oh, nice. Okay, so then the last... Okay, I'm going to leave this on so that the level 7s, 8s, 9s, and 10s can use this as a reference. And maybe ja uh, maybe uh, Vaughn and I can just just coach for the last three minutes just on uh, on gallery view and just do what we want. Okay, guys, you got two minutes, 45 seconds, then we'll wrap the uh, the workout up. Right, looking at Ian. Go, oh, Ian. Hands. Yeah. Trying to achieve that turnover. Turnover, Ian. Yeah, there you go. Slow motion next time. You know, don't don't over overdo your back, Yusuf. You know, make sure you're you're keeping tight there. You know, I'd rather it, I'd rather it be, uh, you know, yeah, much better. I I like that better. I see that effort, Aiden. Nice handstand push-ups. Nice, Sam. Good. <laughs> I saw that too. Oh yeah, right into the table. Fun. Oh, why do it near a table though? Smoothie. Wow, so yeah. proud of you guys. Minute 40 on the clock, Smoothie. Come on, get one in there.
What is he doing? Handstand lower down? No, not handstand lower down like that. Handstand lower down to a plange. Like a power down. Not handstand lower down to headstand. Yes, like that. Right? Not to headstand. Yes. That power down. Dude, Smoothie, push yourself to the limit. Okay? Push yourself all the way down. Power down all the way down. Okay? Enough is enough. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Right? You got to get better. You got to get better than the guys. You don't... Yeah. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Right, Smooth? You could be a good gymnast, bro. You put on a lot of work through Future Stars. And when you watch your gymnastics at meets, it's totally clear that you did Future Stars, that you have this ability to do gymnastics. But I think that you're a little shy. You know, just really push yourself through all of the strength, and you're going to get really good, my dude. Right? You know, you... I mean, Akash, Akash is similar, you know? Similar. What do you think about that interview? Thumbs up? Yeah, awesome. Man, it was exciting. Okay, why don't you guys come to the uh, screen and we'll wrap everything up for the night. Give uh, Vaughn a couple seconds to say something if he wants. It seems like we have a little bit of a regular here, which is uh, a good thing, right? So, um, guys, as usual, all right, it's an absolute, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, working with everybody and watching everybody progress and um, I look forward to it every day working with each one of you guys and um, you just got to keep getting better okay tomorrow we have is Wednesday so we're gonna have testing strength and we'll probably do our pommel horse strength afterwards we just got to get better at horse um, Vaughn if you have anything that you'd like to add to the you know yes words yes i'm likewise um you know happy and very honored that you know dan's invited me to come on and i get to help you guys work out and i'm turning into a liar i told you guys i'd bring on some other guys it's always fun to have some you know new people in the mix so i'm gonna really really try if i don't get them on tomorrow i'll do i don't know 20 burpees or something but hopefully they'll be on tomorrow <laughs> yeah but it's nice you guys are doing really well so i want to share that with my guys too Okay, guys, let's wrap it up. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, make sure you drink some water, eat some rice, eat some chicken, and uh, as always, keep grabbing it. Good work, guys.